Infrastructural development remains a crucial deciding factor in socioeconomic development of any state, and to this end, the governor of Ogun State, Prince Dapo Abiodun, decided to provide various infrastructures in every part of the state to ensure that there is even development across the state. Recently, Prince Dapo Abiodun moves the train of commissioning to Itori in a local government area of the state, where he commissioned a major township road and a set of lock-up shops for the benefit of the people. Governor Abiodun at the commissioning affirmed that his administration would not relent at fixing all major roads which are in deplorable conditions to make life comfortable for the people. Prince Dr. Abiodun said the reconstruction of the road was in fulfillment of the promise made during his campaign in 2019, adding that the essence of governance is to serve the good people of the state. This administration that was voted in on the 29th of May 2019 has continued to be a promise keeping administration. Way back in 2018, we were campaigning. All we could promise them was that they should vote for us and that our promises will be kept and fulfilled. Today, I come here with all sense of humility, beating my chest that, that those promises that we made to you because of campaign, by his grace, we are keeping those promises. Today we are here to commission the Tory Township Road. This is the first administration in this state in a long time that is ensuring that people-oriented projects abound across the length and breadth of the state. There is no local government in this state that we don't have at least one road, at least one road. Some have two, some have three, some have four. This is what we promised you. Because you are the ones that have voted us into office. This is what you voted for. We're not doing you a favor. We are only here to do exactly what you want us to do. He told the people and the party faithfuls who thronged the commissioning that it would soon commence the construction of affordable houses in Itori, the headquarters of every local government, adding that agreement would soon be reached between the Ogun State Government and the Federal Government on ways to find lasting solution to the deplorable condition of Abbe Okuta or Talagos Road and promised that the road will soon wear a new look. This is a very strategic local government. We should have affordable housing units here because this is an industrial local government. Amawa call affordable housing units. See me by. By the grace of God, between now and the next 18 months, this your road will wear a new look. By the grace of God, you know that I have done everything humanly possible. This road is a federal road. So also is Shagamu Abekuta. So also is Ekpe Jebode. So also is Agbara Aton. But the question to ask is, why is it this, this road is the only one that we have not been able to reconstruct? The answer is simple. Because the federal government insisted that this road is under contract. And we should not touch it. We've done everything... We've negotiated with them. We've offered. We've put money on the table. Say we want to partner with you. Our people are suffering on this road. We cannot sit down and appear like we are an irresponsible administration and watch our people suffer in vain. I'm sure that in the next few months, we will reach an agreement with the federal government that will bring respite to our people. Please continue to bear with us. The Ulu of Itori, Oba Abdul Fatai Akamo, is evidently joyful for what the government did in his domain thanked the governor and hinted that the road had been in a deplorable condition for a long time as it has been neglected by the previous administrations in the state. The only governor that you need in your state that you want to take other calls, he picks the call. And when we are sleeping, you kept walking. Baba, I did a call with you. I did a call with you. I did a call with you. We say a very big thank you, sir. Traditional rulers, politicians, administrators and people from all walks of life could not hide their joy and spoke on Prince Dakbo, a building patient for infrastructure provisions across the state. It is very exciting to be with governor today and I can tell you since 1976 there is no governor that do continuity in any project. This is the first governor that continued from where his successors left it I made sure he completed it without any problem on it. Some governor will leave the projects if they come into the power. But this one, 
Prince Dakwabiodun never leave any project untouched. He makes sure he completes all the projects that his successor leaves. Uh, Governor Dakwabiodun is very quiet, very gentle. He doesn't speak louder, but his work speaks for him. It's anywhere you see yellow roof, yellow building or whatever, Dakwa is working. Even I, I follow him to almost uh, four or five places, even in Ijebu land, not, not only in Egba Central here, even at Yewa, that he has commissioned a lot of roads. And when you see it, a very solid one, not just do it. And the man is working. Even on the education and everything, he's trying. What is very peculiar about uh, Dakwa Abiodun, that is a silent performer. He doesn't make noise. And that is why you can see all these performances throughout the 20 local governments of the state. As mothers, when you see your children doing well, you're always happy. He has done wonderfully well and he's still doing and we, we know he's still going to do more. We know he's a man of vision and that is why we are out to support him. The high point of the event was the cutting of the tape by Governor Abiodun to inaugurate the road for the use of the people. This plan was unveiled in commemoration of the commissioning of the Touring Township Road in Touring in a way for local government by me, His Excellency Prince Dako Abiyodu MFR, Governor of the State, on this day, Tuesday, 10th day of January 2023, to the glory of God and the social economic development of this local government and the entire state. Subsequently, the commissioning train moved to Odeda local government, where a 5.7 kilometer road spanning from Kenta Idiaba in Abe Okuta South local government to Ilugun Kenta and Shomori in Obantoko area of Odeda local government area of the state. At the commission of the road, Prince Dakwabiodun has this to say. Today is another historic day in the annals of the whole state's history. We are here yet again. This will be the second time this week. The third time in the last seven days that we are commissioning another landmark infrastructure project. And this time, it is the Kenta Shomori Road. This commissioning is holding today, for the awareness of doubt, today, 18th Wednesday of January 2023. I recall when I was here on the 4th of July 2021. What did I come to do? I came to commission our first pilot housing project, the Kelta housing project. I remember when I came here to commission that project. I was not giving me a governor. Because that project we built within the first 100 days of this administration. It was one of the marks of our inclusive and participatory government. We consulted with our people. We asked them what kind of housing project we want us to build for you. And the reason was very simple. When we assumed that this, there were housing projects on ground that nobody bought. War and war, out of abandoned. And we did not want to make that kind of mistake. I will be around your you and when you tell them they for you. And they told us. So we took their suggestions on board and we built this house as a pilot. Before we completed them, they were all sold out. The success of our housing project in State started right here in Kenta. When I came here to commission, I saw the state of the road leading to this place. And I promised the community, I said that the next time I'm going to come here, I will come and inspect the ongoing construction of this road. I'm sure KBF did not believe me. Neither did Bale believe me. But I came back. I came to inspect the construction of the road. And I said to them, I'm sure you think it's because of the way you got. I said, well, that may not be too far from the truth. But this road construction is in line with our promise. Our promise of being people-oriented and providing infrastructure that will benefit the good people of Home State. Governor Dakbo Abiodun further assured the people of the state that his administration will provide more infrastructure facilities in fulfillment of his electoral promises. This is your administration. We are only here by the grace of God and by the collective will of all of you. We've only been in office for three years and seven months. It is not a long time. The infrastructure deficit that we met is so deep 
that it will take more than eight years to even begin to you know, collect everything. Even in four years, we cannot collect all the deficits in order that we have to make a loan. How much more the entire of the state? But you know what we have done? We've demonstrated that we're a promise giving administration. We have a road project, at least one, in every local government. This local government has two. We have the Bonobo Pajola Road, which is about almost, maybe almost six or seven kilometers. And we have this road. And that is just a clear example that if we make these promises, and we have come here to commission this road, then you can expect that we will continue the same thing and keep our promises. I know that there are still a few other roads that need attention. Most of you are part of the Shangri-La, part of the Obeji, mainly. Most of you are part of the Obeji. Within one week, I will begin the reconstruction of that road that leads to Obeji World. I told you. The Commissioner for Works and Infrastructure, while welcoming guests to the event, has this to say. The commissioning of Shogun and Tenta Road is yet another giant strike of the present administration in the state which is also being extended to the most and families of the three senatorial district. Bring all the memory lane, you will all recall that the present administration under the able leadership of Prince Dafabio Dukamefara, governor of the state, previously commissioned a number of road projects in the central district, cutting across three several local government areas. This include L.I. Road, Okilanto Road, in Abel Kuta South, Pansheke Adiba Road, in Abel Kuta South, and Obafemi Owude local government area. Ariko Road, in Obafemi Owude in local government area, and Ituri Township Road, in the Ruto Road. Again, to the glory of the Almighty God, His Excellency is here again, is here today to commission Chumori Temptor Road, while other roads in the state will be commissioned in due course for the benefit of the people of the district. The road being commissioned today is furnished with drainage and cover to prevent sudden damage as bitter experience of the motorists and residents of the area due to the terrible state before and the coming of the past. Also, the construction of this road saw a major flooding issue within the area. Also, it brings prompt and on inner emergency services along the route as well as reduction in the rate of accidental occurrence. Just try to cut up with some indigents of the local government who are in the executive and the legislative council as well as other dignitaries and the board their minds on the benefit of the road. It's just one of the numerous um, infrastructural development that has taken place in, um, in Ogun State and um, because of that I um, mean we are very happy it shows a lot of acceptance from our people. You can see people are in happy, jubilating mode, and they are very impressed about what has been done over the last three years. I mean, we've been in an environment where people expect more from us, and we are in an environment where people are satisfied and they are very happy. So this is one of the areas where we are very glad that our desire and the desire of the people meet together and we'll be able to do the construction of the road. It has been of immense value to us. Since this village, was, this road was constructed, we have witnessed free movement of traffic, even though people from Obantoko, Axis, are using this road, yet it has made flow of traffic very smooth in this environment. And apart from that, it has also made our environment, the value of our environment to increase. Because the value, you can see many shops springing up, so it has affected Business. Business has been on the rise since this road was constructed. From Kenta to Shomori before, usually take us like 30 to 40 minutes before we could run through. But now, within 5-10 minutes, you are through. So, the advantage is enormous. We can't even finish mentioning it. But there is one thing I want us to, I want the people using this road to take note of. People are already over speeding on this road, especially at this uh, Ilugu end. The people coming from Shomori end, most of the time, when they are coming, they are not mindful of people going towards Shomori. And it is, there is usually almost accident. 
on a daily basis. This is the first time in the history of the state that we are seeing developmental roads being constructed along the senatorial district. It has never happened. Number one, it will help economic activities. Number two, it will enable movement from one place to the other and other multiplier effects that we can think of. It's really a good thing. We really appreciate the governor for commissioning this job on in Kenta Road. We have never witnessed this in this of any governor in Okun State. No other governor has ever commissioned any project like road in Obantuku, our domain. So we are very happy, we are much elated for His Excellency for doing good this to us. We so appreciate him and we are expecting him more to do more as there are a lot of road that need to be, to be done. We really appreciate His Excellency for this. This is the best governor I've never seen over since I'm in Okun State. We do many roads in Oku State here. Yeah. Schools, Nko, other development is the best governor. You know, it's a steady bypass and it has taken a lot of traffic off the normal uh, Abantoko road, the axis. So it's a very short shortcut and we are very grateful to the governor for doing it or for having done it. And you know, this place is the residence of one of our illustrious sons in Ogun State, Professor Wale Shoyinka. And this is where he votes. His polling booth is just over there. He registered there, he votes there. And for the governor to have done this, it is a very good uh, gesture in respecting and honoring our heroes. Though he's not a hero that is dead, he's still a living hero, but he has been honored with the road and we are very grateful. It is a very great relief and we are still asking if His Excellency can connect this road to Madhujutimi Junction. It will complete the circuit and it will go a long way in ameliorating the sufferings of our people. I'm very, very delighted that um, His Excellency is visiting us here at Odeda Local Government. We want to appreciate him for all that he's been doing in Odeda. He's done some roads, the one we're commissioning today. He's also done the Odeda General Hospital and a few primary health centers. So his, um, his work in Odeda is not just limited to health or roads. We have the agricultural center, you know, the dairy farm in Odeda here as well. So um, the governor has done a lot for us in Odeda. So you can see us turn out en masse to welcome him for all his good works in, uh, in Odeda. Across the state, the Ogun State government has been um, completing projects that were left not completed um, by the previous administration. And we believe that um, government is continuous. So we should always fulfill all the projects that have started before we got into um, government and that is what we are doing. Um, this road has been completed now and there are various roads that the local state government is completing and I'm sure dividends of democracy will be spread across the state. My advice for the people of Odeda and all the local governments is um, everything cannot be done at the same time. Um, we should be a little bit more patient with the government. When you have a government that is at least doing something, you know that it will get to your turn very soon. Uh, indeed, it has been so justifiably. Ogun says has been the most peaceful state in Nigeria, has been affirmed by His Excellency President Mahmoud Dubari in his visitation, and it has been justifiable based on the last our Excellency received as a peace ambassador. It has become so peaceful with, uh, with enabling environment for all indigent residents and investors to strive conveniently without any intimidation. Indeed, our governor has emerged as Mr. Infrastructure with infrastructural uh, a project across all the 20 local governments of the state. We are also here in order to commission a road. That's justifiably. And uh, there is no local government or even what in this state that has not been benefited from the infrastructure of the Excellency Prince Dr. Dakbabiodun and which we have been commissioning. Uh, my advice to the people is to embrace peace and love each other as we are approaching this, uh, this electionary period. We are very grateful and we are commending him, Mr. Governor for his well done job. He's going to enhance and boom the economy of this area and everybody is joyful for his own wonderful things Mr. Governor has been doing to us. We need to make use of this road. We have to be very careful and we must be able to maintain the standard of this road. Also, we must be able to obey the traffic rule. Indeed.
people-oriented projects are true dividends of democracy that citizens could directly benefit from, and this the governor has promised to provide for the people of the state. The state is now being turned around with the provision of road infrastructure in all local governments of the state. With this, it is certain that the state economy is turning around for good, as Ogun is now an industrial hub of repute.